Hey guys, it's Brian from Zona Camp and Hike, and today I'm gonna to talk about something that's been bugging me a lot lately, and it's these water bladders. I've had enough of these. They fail on me all the time. Maybe I'm doing something wrong, but you know, I'm probably just buying the cheap ones, but you know what? I've seen the expensive ones go bad as well. I've been lucky enough that I tested these out before I've gone on my hikes and they failed before I took them out on the trail. So what's gonna happen if I'm out in the middle of the desert or in a place without water and it's hot out and my water bladder fails. What happens if they fail inside of your backpack on your trip? You're gonna be without water and you're gonna get all your stuff wet in your backpack because the water bladder is going to be in your backpack with all of your stuff. So that's why I've decided to get rid of these things. The name of the product that I'm going to replace it with is pretty generic. So this is called the Lixada. Lixada is the company, the Lixada Water Bottle Drink Tube Hose Hydration Bladder Reservoir Pack Replacement Water Bottle Tube Backpack System Hose Kit. It's, that's extremely specific. And you know what? That's okay with me as long as it works. And I'm gonna test it when I go on my next backpacking trip, and I'm gonna test it in a way that doesn't put me at risk. So let's check it out. So this right here is what it is. This bad boy right here. It's got a mouthpiece, which is typical of a lot of the bladders, but this other end here, as you can see, has a tube that goes in and out of this larger tube. And the reason being, is that, yes, you can take, oh yeah, the tried and true smart water bottles. And this one was actually a cucumber lime. I think some people might like it, but it wasn't for me. I like the traditional, you know, old fashioned smart water. So basically you can adjust this little tube in there so it sits at the bottom of your smart water bottle, screw it on, and voila, you've got yourself a makeshift tubing system with a mouthpiece that is attached straight to your smart water bottle. That way, if this bottle fails, you can attach it to the next smart water bottle. I usually bring three bottles. I've got two 1.5 liters and this 700 milliliter bottle. The smart water bottles are good, tough plastic and they last, they, they're strong. But for those of you who are just taking a water bladder, I think you're putting yourself at risk if you don't have a backup system in something like this. I've got three, I've got redundancy. I've got three smart water bottles that I bring. So if one bottle fails, I still have two other bottles. Now, what you can do with this, you just put it into your backpack and you can just run it down. So bam, you got it set up, ready to go for your backpack. You know, I think this is a little bit long. I'm gonna try it on real quick. You know, it's kind of long and kind of flapping all over the place. You know, I could use this clip and clip it right here, but I still have it hanging all around. So what I'm gonna have to do is I think I want to have it so that it's about right here. I don't want it hanging lower than that. It's just going to get in the way. This right here is the clip. It clips right there to it by a magnet. And what this does is it allows you to clip this onto your bag and boom, you've got your mouthpiece right there. But man, this thing is just too much. It's just too much. It's right in my face and I don't like it. I guess I could put it across like here, but that's going to be in my face too. I'd say ideally it's just going to hang right here. If I'm right here, boom, I think that's good. So I'm gonna take a pen and mark my spot and I'm gonna modify this. First, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my cutting utensil and then I'm gonna take that spot that I marked and I'm gonna cut it. Some, some tough plastic, it takes a little bit to get through this and voila. So now that I've got that part done, I'm going to get this other piece off here. So you just pull that end off you push the other end all right up on there, like that, like so. Oh, that's nice, like a glove. All right, so now it's shorter. And so, so let's take a look here. I might not even need the clip. So let's see how it works here. Boom, boom, and it's right there. That's right there, easy access. Oh, that's perfect. That's just perfect. The beauty of having something like this is if this fails, you can still drink out of your water bottle and you have a backup system for what you're doing. And so with one little easy modification, I made it just the right size for my pack. If I choose to clip it over here, and then I can just reach it across like that, and it's out of my face. I know where it's at, and it's just right there. And as I'm walking, boom, I can get a drink of water. 
And that is my solution to the water bladder problem that I've been having. I'm gonna test this out as I do section two of the Arizona Trail coming up in a future video. So stay tuned for that, make sure to subscribe, and I hope to see you back here later. Thanks for watching guys, and you have a great day.